Hi, I'm Thomas Alexander from Rothschild Safaris. Wherever you may travel with us, we will ensure that you get the very best of service. Service that is most certainly worthy of a tip. Our clients often ask us, how much is appropriate to offer as a gratuity for your lodge and camp staff, for your drivers, and for your expert guides. It can be somewhat confusing, but it is also something that one should plan for in advance. We have compiled this short video to help you understand who, when, and how much to tip as you journey throughout Africa. There is no right or wrong amount to tip, and it can often be a personal matter influenced by your own experiences. However, there are recommended amounts that we would like to suggest to clients as base rates for staff you encounter on your journey. The following tip suggestions are per person rates in US dollars, with tipping not required for children under the age of 18. Airport personnel will be on hand to carry your bags and assist you throughout the immigration process. We suggest two to five dollars per traveler. For transfer drivers who will transport you from airports to your destination, five dollars per traveler will suffice. If you are visiting coastal regions, and plan to charter a boat or go diving. We recommend $10 per person for skippers and the same for qualified diving staff. More communal boat tours, such as a sunset cruise on the Zambezi perhaps, will usually provide a tip jar and $5 per person is the recommendation. If you embark upon a luxury overnight train journey, between $10 and $20 per person per day is the industry standard for tipping, payable at the end of your journey. In camp or at your safari lodge, you will encounter a range of staff members from butlers and housekeeping staff to spa therapists. Most staff will receive tips communally, payable at the end of your stay. We suggest between $10 and $15 per traveller per day. Though as with all tipping, if you have particularly enjoyed your experience, feel free to add extra. Tips can usually be deposited in a jar or box upon your departure. Some staff members in camp you will interact with more directly, and this requires individual tipping. If you indulge in a massage or spa therapy, we suggest $5 per treatment. For porters who carry your baggage, approximately $2 per bag is suggested. While for your personal butler, should you have one, $5 per guest per day is the average gratuity. You may also be lucky enough to enjoy a traditional dance or musical performance while in camp. For these, $5 per guest is an adequate contribution. Safari guides are well-trained and highly talented at what they do. Whether on a walking safari or a game drive, they will ensure your safety and provide you with the best opportunity to observe a wide range of animals in the wild. As such, we suggest $15 to $20 per person, per day or activity. More common in South Africa, you may also be joined by an expert tracker. If so, $10 per person should be added. Additional activities, such as visiting an elephant orphanage, giraffe sanctuary, or notable landmark, also require guides, and these staff members should receive $5 per guest. If you undertake a guided city walk or drive, we recommend tipping $5 to $10 for half a day, or 10 to $20 for a full day's tour. 
you may well undertake additional activities that don't conform to a more conventional safari journey. For example, rather than enjoying the meals of your accommodation, you may choose to visit a restaurant. For this, 10% of your total bill is the standard tipping rate throughout Africa and is typically paid by credit card and simply added to your final payment. Other activities beyond your standard itinerary might include a round of golf or a balloon flight. While your balloon pilot is paid for, staff will often greet you after your flight for a bush breakfast. For these staff members and for a golf caddy or other similar aid, $5 to $10 per guest is suggested. Finally, if you are undertaking any treks, specific tipping amounts are required. Gorilla trekking, whether in Uganda or Rwanda, requires several staff members. For your convenience, Rothschild Safaris will pay for your porters in advance, though your guides and trackers should receive $15 each per guest. On a gorilla habituation trek, the head guide is usually highly trained and takes on a great deal of responsibility, not only for your safety, but also for the welfare of the gorillas. Therefore, $35 per traveller is recommended. Other primate experiences include chimpanzee habituation and golden monkey trekking. And for these, your porters aren't prepaid. $10 per guide and $5 per porter is suggested as a gratuity per guest. Lastly, for the more adventurous among you, the climb to the summit of Kilimanjaro is a labour-intensive experience for your accompanying guides and porters. $400 per traveller is recommended, and this should be presented to your head guide to be divided amongst the crew of assistants and porters. Planning ahead prior to your departure is also worth considering. View your Rothschild Safari's itinerary and prepare envelopes for your accommodations in advance. Label them with the accommodation name and the amounts you anticipate paying to each staff member. These can then be discreetly deposited or presented at the end of your stay. Ensure that you take with you about $200 in small denominations that can be secured in your room safe during your stay, along with your travel documents and other valuables. Though tipping isn't as pervasive or expected as in America, it frequently forms a significant part of staff salaries. We feel certain that you will happily tip the caring and attentive staff that you will encounter on your journey. As always, we're here to assist you. Please contact your travel designer should you have any further questions and download our helpful tipping guide in the video description below. We hope this tipping guide has been informative and will assist you in planning your journey with us.